here with Tommy Link after winning Escape the Rock. Tommy, tell me a little bit about your performance this weekend. Um, I think I wrestled pretty good coming out and uh, winning my round of 16, 7 2. Wrestled that kid earlier in the season. Um, almost got pinned. It was my first match of the year. Um, I thought I controlled him. Uh, went into the quarters, um, feeling good. Beat the kid, Max Martin, 6 0. Uh, dominated the match. He couldn't do anything. Wrote him out probably for three to four minutes. And going into the semis, um, wrestling one of my friends, wrestled him since I was little. The one seed, I was the four. Um, got a tight bar, pinned him. Um, felt pretty good. Um, pinned the one seed, obviously. And then, obviously, right? Yeah, going out and um, beating the two seed. Uh, Zach, he's a good wrestler. Uh, almost had me at the end of the match, but got that reversal late. Felt good. What kind of guy? Are you looking at the brackets before the match? And are you seeing, oh, man, I got to go through one? And I yeah, I was... I thought in my head I was the one seed. Um, you did? I think they on flow they did like the what they thought um, I should place and they said I should win the tournament. Yeah. They, they were liking Zach though, but um, I knew I could beat Logue. Uh, he's a good wrestler, but he hasn't had any of the he's wrestled any of the talent that we have this year, so he hasn't got put against anybody good really. So um, I was gonna be his first really like good competition, so I thought I had a really good chance. What kind of self-talk do you have out there when you're wrestling? Are you talking to yourself about attacking or positions? Um, I'm talking to myself about just keep scoring, um, staying on them heavy, heavy hands. Um, you know, you can wear a guy down with just clubbing them, staying on them the whole time, and um, getting those extra clubs at the end of the match like Nate wants us to at the end of the period, just staying on them. So I just want to keep attacking, staying in great position, low, um, just never making sure I'm not out of position ever. Now you and the team have wrestled a pretty tough tournament season. Yeah. You've got like four of them, Iron Man, Powerade, yeah. uh, Beast of the East, this. How are you a different wrestler than in October? Um, I think just wrestling with all these guys, giving me different feels. Uh, in October, I was my conditioning I don't think was as good as it is now. I think I can go full six minutes, hard six minutes, feeling good. Um, in October, I feel like I was a little sluggish in the third, maybe not wrestling my best in the third. So. Now that it's January, I think I'm feeling good um, in the third period. Um, just wrestling my best right now, I think. What's your relationship like with cutting weight? Um, it's not bad. Um, right now I'm about like six over, so six and a half. So it's, I, if you think about it, it's it's pretty bad, but it's not. <laughs> it's the whole team pretty much does it, so it's 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 good to have other guys, you know, doing it with you. So it's not that bad. What's your favorite food? Gotta go with cheeseburgers. cheeseburgers. I love cheeseburgers, yeah. Um, I had one after weigh-ins, second day after winning Escape the Rock, so that, that felt good. Tell me a little bit about, you go through this tough tournament season, this is your first first place, your highest finish in high school, right? Yeah. Like, did you get discouraged? Did you have any doubt along the way? Um, I definitely did. Uh, for sure, I was, when I got uh, lost to, uh, at B, or, I'm at Powerade, sorry, in the blood round, I was like, I can't do that anymore. It's just, you can't weigh in that second day, lose that first match, and do that to yourself. Yeah. You gotta just uh, wrestle hard um, and just give it a roll. Uh, I think that that's the what I'm thinking in my head most of the time. You just gotta keep going. Tell me, do you ever think about like I'm out here wrestling? I, I have to wrestle Spencer and Dayton. Yeah. They they rack me up. I'm gonna go take it out on somebody else. Now. Yeah. For <laughs> That's like, Dayton, he'll beat you up in the room. He'll beat you up for sure in the room. But um, I think, you know, he's a great partner. He's um, a great kid, uh, pushes me hard at practice. Spencer, Spencer gives me good feels. He's a strong kid. Um, knows, like, he's never out of position. So hard to uh, score in neutral. But um, I think that helps me in my wrestling. Um, knowing that you have, always have to stay in position with him. Uh, Got to be quick. He's super strong, so actually helps me with those stronger, shorter kids. Um, so wrestling all those guys helps me throughout the wrestling and those tournaments. Gotcha. Those tournaments. Tell us something like something embarrassing about yourself. Like you're afraid of spiders or um something embarrassing about myself. <laughs> Anything? You got bad hair. Actually, um, got... I think my hair's been bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something embarrassing. Who's got the I, worst music on the team? Worst music on the team. I gotta go with uh, a freshman, Roman Buno. He's a uh, he's on the uh, other team. He um 
he listens to like sometimes he'll listen to like Beethoven and like all those guys, which is a good it's good music, but it's just not yeah. our you know we listen to nowadays. But it's just funny because you know a kid listened to Beethoven for yeah. years. All right, did you have something embarrassing about yourself? About myself, um, um, worst hair on the team. Worst hair on the team. Can't say Caden. Caden. No, you can't, can't say Caden. Caden. Uh, Low hanging fruit. Low fruit. Um, uh, probably Nate. Nate. Or Medancy, Andrew Medancy, <laughs> getting the haircut. Wait, everybody uh, told him to get a haircut, and then he did. No one. Three kids told him to get a haircut, messing with them, and he uh he went out and did it. He went out and got the buzz. Gosh. But yeah, um, something embarrassing. I take a bath every night to lose some weight. Every night, gotta. I mean, I guess it's not embarrassing, but I think it's kind of funny how. Yeah, a lot of guys don't yeah. take baths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, going forward, how do you stay hungry going towards prep states and nationals? Um, I think I just gotta stay. Hungry knowing that I have Brandon Cannon, who's number two in the country, and Mark Anthony McGowan, who's number one in the country at Prep Nationals. Yeah. So I think that I just got to wrestle my match. I think I can I can wrestle with those guys for sure. Um, I've had tough matches with number of like seven kids in the country, Mark, or um, Mac Church. So I think mm -hmm. I'm up there with those kids. And um, I think I just got to keep pushing, keep wrestling hard in the room, and um, maintain my weight. Hey, thanks for the time. Yep, thank you.